Hi everybody, I'm Red Hill Eagle and welcome to episode 2 of A Cargo of Great Value, part of our Skyforge series which is using the Ironsworn Starforged game system. So just a, a bit of a recap really from the previous episode then. Um, we performed an emergency landing on a desert planet named Morricone where we met Kiana Darwin. Um, she told me where I might be able to find some supplies and particularly fuel. Um, because my ship um, suffered some damage on the way to, I can't remember where we were going to now, where were we going? We were going to Hypatia on a planet called uh, Gelida. And yeah, so she's willing to help me if I am willing to take her off this planet and take her to a destination that she names. She is a criminal that has been um, exiled here or abandoned here, left here, kind of to die really, um, but there's some kind of survey team on the planet that she's seen. So yeah, she's gonna help me approach them and see if we can get some supplies out of them. But as we were trekking across the desert, we came across a metal handle in the middle of a dune and underneath the sand, which we you know kind of brushed aside, there was a hatch. And in this episode, we're gonna find out what's in there so we open the hatch i could i guess do a move to um find out what is in the hatch but i think uh, sorry uh, do a move to, to see if we can open the hatch but i think if we don't open the hatch that's the end of that story so we might as well just say that we've opened the hatch and we are climbing down there's a ladder there and it's quite a deep tunnel we are climbing down and when we reach the bottom I guess really we should be undertaking an expedition. We are inside what I guess is some kind of, um, I don't know if it's a precursor vault as such, but it's uh, its something, isn't it? It's some kind of, um, it's some kind of vault where it's precursor, we don't know. So yeah, let's undertake an expedition and see where it takes us. So I think we're gonna act vigilant because, you know, I just think, we don't know what's down here. We need to be careful. So what we're going to do is then I'm going to go to my reference guide and hopefully I'm going to try and be a little bit quicker than what I have been in the past. I'm going to use the, the content to kind of find all our, all our moves. And so we want a exploration move. Here we go. Undertake an expedition. And yeah, so we're going to roll with vigilance. So that's plus wits. And my wit is three, so okay, that gives us something to work with then. Three, uh, two, three, four, five, a weak hit. So on a weak hit, as above, but progress costs you, choose one. So I guess, actually, I'm always forgetting to do this, aren't I? We need a progress track for this expedition, expedition into the... Um, structure, structure under the dune, structure underneath the dune on Morricone. Okay, that'll do us. I'm going to mark it as troublesome because I don't want, and this is probably perfectly normal for this game, but I've got three tracks open now, and I'm just a bit worried that I'm going to end up with, you know, hundreds, of, you know, and we still haven't even reach Tipatia. So I think we'll just call it troublesome for the moment. And yeah, we're, once we get into it a little bit more and once the event, the adventure kind of gets going, I will obviously have a lot more kind of um, formidable tracks or dangerous tracks. You know, or maybe we'll have a couple of extreme, who knows? We've already got an epic, our vow. Yeah, but as we as we go on, I will you know kind of increase these with when we get some newer tasks. So yeah, weak hit. So I do I do mark progress and that is yes three boxes on troublesome um, but I we suffer something or there's a there's a there's a peril so I'm going to say that we've reached uh, we've reached in fact I'm going to roll on it why not roll on oh, it's not a pay the price is it so okay I want some kind of encounter then don't I so I think the best thing to roll on really is this um, interior feature as part of the uh, precursor vaults. I just think there's some interesting 
there's some interesting stuff there that we can we can use. So I'm going to get my D100. Let's see, shall we? Um, so I'm going to grab my D100 and let's see what we get. 22. Elevated path over a chasm or shaft. Okay, so we come across this, um, yeah, an elevated path. Maybe it's quite elevated and we're going to struggle to get up there a little bit. So, yeah, it's quite, um, it's just quite steep really, but we we think that that's probably the, the only path or the best path to take. So we're going to continue on with our expedition here. So I'm probably going to roll something different because I've said, um, I don't know actually. Yeah, so I mean, it's quite a difficult, it's quite difficult to navigate this. I mean, I'm even thinking about possibly giving myself a, a minus one on this roll. I know that's probably really risky because <laughs> rolls in this game are difficult enough. I think I think we'll just carry on as normal. But yeah, we've come across this um, really steep path, and it is quite steep. We're struggling to get up there. So undertake an expedition steal, and what's that? Five. We're still doing under vigilance. So it's wits, and my wits is I'm always forgetting. I should have these written down in front of me, really, rather than keep moving over. So three. So five, six, seven, eight, that's a strong hit this time. So on a strong hit, we reach a waypoint, envision um, the location and mark progress as per the rank of the expedition. So yeah, we just about get there. I think maybe to make things quite fair, me mechanically that weak hit didn't harm us in any way. So maybe we just drop our spirit. That was quite difficult. That was quite difficult and you know, I'm kind of a bit dispirited by it. But here we've got a strong hit. So we're gonna mark progress again. So that gives us six. I think one more and we'll try to kind of complete this and we'll find somewhere to go. So, or, or we'll roll up at a kind of room, have some, some sort of adventure going on. So here we go again then. Um, three, so that's five. Oh, a miss with a match, right. On a miss, you are waylaid by a crisis or arrive at a waypoint to confront an immediate hardship or threat. Do not mark progress and pay the price. So let's go to pay the price. And let's see, I'm, I'm gonna roll for it because my imagination's awful. I guess I could, I, can, I guess I could say that we lose some supplies. I might just do that actually. We lose some supplies down this, Back, back down this path, this really steep path, and obviously it's like, I'm not going back down there. We'll do that, rather than pay the price, because, you know, rather than roll, because I fear, I fear I'm always kind of rolling and stuff, and I just think, let's just put something in narratively. So we lose some su supplies, <laughs> we're, we're struggling a little bit, but I don't mark the progress, and we go again, plus wits. Um, five, six, seven, eight, strong hit. So, let's go back to on a strong hit, we mark progress. So we'll do that, challenges, um, mark progress. And now I think I'm gonna try and complete this. So I'm gonna roll the challenge dice and hope that we get two dice below nine. Yes, we do, only just. So, right, we've completed this. So we're in kind of the inner sanctum now of this, um, I'm gonna call it a vault. It's not really a vault. We don't know what it is yet. This hopefully will kind of tell us now. So we can say we've completed this one. And let's roll up something. Let's go to our oracles and see if we can get something a bit exciting to, yeah, so we're at Sanctum. So let's let's see, shall we? Let's roll our D100. Let's see if we can get something that's um, quite exciting. 74. Surfaces covered in slime or fungus. Okay, so we're exploring this room. We've, we've got into some sort of room. And in fact, I want to roll on something else. I want, I, I want to roll what's in this room, apart from the slime on the walls. I mean, is this a kind of, you know, what, what's there? So 
let's have a look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll on action and or maybe just theme and descriptor. Yes, theme theme first. Theme, let's get with 68. Protection. Okay. Protection and 80. Rare. Protection. Okay, uh, th there is a rare artifact or something rare being protected here. Like it's underneath or it's it's behind some kind of like case some kind of glass case or perspex case whatever we can we can see inside it we've no idea what it is but it's obviously very well protected how i don't know yet maybe there are um th there's these fiery kind of lasers um creating a shield around this thing and it's quite obvious that it's um it's been protected so don't know why yet but this is what we've found. Um, I think I probably want to roll some kind of um, peril as well, because I think we should just let's just get this story going. Let's. Um, so I'm just having a look under this uh, derelict section, and I know we haven't specifically said it's a derelict, and we've kind of said it's probably some kind of precursor vault. But I just think there's some interesting things are here, and I want to roll up. I, I just want to roll up a peril because I think we can kind of just get something going here. Or do I want something more like a, because I don't know where we are. I mean, access, community, I guess, I guess actually, let's roll up on these things and find out where we are. Okay, so how do we find out what we roll on? How do we know if we're in access, community, medical, or operations, or any of these four as well? How do we do that? How do we roll on? Tell you what, I've had a change of plan because I've had a bit of a think. Maybe this is what the survey team are looking for. The survey team that we are going to ask for help. And we don't necessarily know that yet. But we are now going to get out of this place. Um, I mean, do we undertake an expedition again? I guess we can. I guess we will. So to get out of here, go find the survey team, tell them what we've found, or find out what they're after first. And we can use that as leverage, 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 to, in exchange for them to give us some supplies. Okay, so let's do it. So I'll be, maybe not so much vigilance now, because we've kind of, I think we feel fairly safe. Obviously, we might roll something in a minute that contradicts that, but we feel fairly safe, so we will roll something different. Um, let's have a look at the exploration moves again. So I think we're gonna try and go at speed. We wanna get, we wanna be quick about this. So we roll our edge, roll edge, and my edge is, ah, it's four. So hopefully then, we should get a decent score here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, a weak hit. Okay, so on a weak hit, as above, but progress costs you, so. Right, so now we need to exit the um, the derelict, exit the structure. I'm just going to call it that for the moment. We'll, we'll, we'll say uh, Morricone, okay. So I do mark progress, and let's choose one. Make a suffer move, or two suffer moves, or face a peril. Let's face a peril. Let's face a peril. Let's Let's roll up some kind of creature. So what we do is I'll roll on this interior peril and see what we get on that because there's a few things that could be quite interesting. 88. Toxic atmosphere. Okay, right, so we're starting to struggle. We, we, our route has been... Maybe we've taken a wrong turn in and we've gone into like a section that's just got... It's just very toxic. We both start really coughing badly and... We just we just realised that we've gone the wrong way. We need to rethink this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take off a box to kind of indicate the fact that we've had to turn back. Okay, I think that's quite a fair way of doing that. I don't know. Um, let me know how you would have done it. 
exploration moves us go back to undertake an expedition then and we're still going to try and go at speed or perhaps vigilance because we've already made one wrong turn and we need we kind of think look let's be vigilant you know we need to try and remember what way we came so i'll tell you what we'll do it on on wits because we're staying vigilant so that's a three so five six seven eight another week hit so we do mark progress but another peril of some sort which I'd quite like to roll up on uh, where was I which one was it interior peril yeah okay 48 mechanical trap oh yes all right okay mechanical trap a, a trap door that's just opened up and we've managed to go all the way down and we are in some kind of, um, well, we assume it's a basement area, but we don't know how many levels this has got. We don't know how many floors this has got. We've certainly gone down a floor. So, and possibly with a bump. So that's kind of like, maybe hurt me a little bit. No, no, I wasn't supposed to take off any suffer moves. No, uh, no, okay, I think that's fine. But we're in an unknown room again now. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do again. I really don't know if I'm doing this right, but I think, because again, that's waylaid us, I'm going to take one of those off again. So now we haven't got a clue where we are, so we're staying vigilant and we are going again with the Undertaken Expedition. So again, let's grab our, oh yeah, we're staying vigilant, so plus wits, which is three, five, six, seven, eight, another weak hit. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time, because I've just noticed something that I probably maybe should have been doing when we reach a waypoint, explore a waypoint. Let's do it. Let's explore a waypoint. So, yeah, we've we've we're in this kind of this level now that we. I mean, bear in mind we did go up that really steep path. Maybe now that we've gone down, maybe we went the, the quick route. Maybe we've dropped. We maybe we've dropped down down a level. I mean, I've, there should be some kind of peril, I guess. What would be the point in a trap door if, or maybe there used to be. Maybe it used to be some kind of. Um, room a dungeon or something um, but obviously over the years it's not it's just not used anymore okay we can we can say that but let's let's explore a waypoint then so um, yeah let's roll plus wits so the uh, wits was three so six seven eight nine can you believe that <sighs> weak Hit. On a weak hit, you uncover something interesting, but it is bound up in a peril or reveals an ominous aspect of this place. Envision what you encounter. Take plus one momentum. Okay, so let's let's put the momentum on then. So I don't forget that. Four momentum. And yeah, we will... I mean, we don't make a discovery... But we've uncovered something interesting. And I'm going to leave the episode there. Because I think I'm going to have a think about this. Roll something up. But I need to, I think I need to revisit the rule book and just have a look at, you know, what, what would I roll on for this? So, I mean, we've made a discovery. Or, sorry, we've uncovered something interesting, but it's bound up in a peril. So, what is it we found then we could then we'll roll up a peril but yeah i need to have a look and and just see what what it is we've uncovered what what would i roll up on there i mean i could just go to the the core oracles i could just do that but i'm wondering whether there's something a little bit more interesting that i can roll on so yeah i'm gonna leave it there hope you've enjoyed it um a bit short not a lot has happened really but we've kind of we've found something out haven't we we have found out that there is something being protected in this place, we will probably hopefully get to a stage where we can tell the survey team what we've found. Hopefully, it'll be what they've been looking for, and we can barter with them for some of their supplies in exchange for taking them there. Okay, so hope you've enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you to those of you who have, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.